Now I got a request recently from Eli Baker, asked if we could do another bass or panfish pattern, and we haven't done one in a little while, so that's what we're doing today. Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So when I decided to do a bass pattern, first book I reached for was Dick Stewart and Pharaoh Allen's Flies for Bass and Panfish. A great book, lots of patterns in here. I've reviewed it on the channel before, so if you like these type flies, definitely check out this book. But I was flipping through the book and I came across one with a really cool sound of name and it's a pretty cool looking fly. It's called the Tippet Whisker. Now this one was created by Ian James of Ontario in 1986, so it's not a really old pattern, but he did say he got his inspiration from some really old uh, British steel water flies. And I think the coolest thing about this pattern is that you could really tie it in an infinite number of color combinations. It does call for golden pheasant tippet for the wings. Not many flies out there use whole pheasant tippets for a wing, but it also said Use Lady Amherst if you want to, if you want to vary the color. And if you've not ever tied with a Lady Amherst, give it a shot. This is a really pretty cool bird. But it's a really easy pattern and pretty cool looking. And mix it up. Make it any color you want. And I had a good time tying it. I think you will. Let's give it a shot. So there's one in the vise. A pretty nifty looking little pattern. The recipe doesn't specifically say what size hook, so uh, tied on whatever you would, your, your streamers, your small streamers. I'm tying this on a six. This is a size six, uh, just an all purpose curve shank hook. I think it's a J Stockard, and I would say that's a 3X long. The package does not say, but that's got to be at least a 3X long. And black thread. Before I take it all the way back, I'm just going to leave it right up here where I'm going to tie in the dumbbell eyes. Now, if you've never tied with these things, they're pretty cool. These are just solid, some kind of metal. So they're a, a weighted, uh, fairly heavy, and just do some figure eight wraps in it. I want it to be a little more forward than that. So let's drop that real quick. Now try it again. So you don't need a whole lot of weight or room behind your eye. Is where there's nothing that goes in front of the the eyes uh, between the eyes and the eye how about that so you know good three or four wraps right here and you can put a drop of super glue on that right there or maybe a drop of super glue on your thread and then just put a couple extra wraps on there but it's really unnecessary this thing is pretty pretty secure in there so now i'll take my thread back to about where the barb would have been Now, I've nicked my thread somewhere, so I'm just going to have to be careful the rest of this tie. And this is where you got a pretty uh, infinite number of options. I'm going with the purple. I think uh, as a bass bug, purple, red, white, yellow would be cool. Um, black, of course. Black is a would be an easy default go-to color. So I stripped a little bit of that chenille off so I can just catch in the, the thread core right here. There we go. Take it back to about where the I want the back of my body to be. And I'm going to have to spend a few extra wraps right here just to try to get back to my good thread. And I don't know if I did it, but eh, we're close enough. So let's fluff this chenille out a little bit. And I didn't mention this is a medium. And on a big size 6 like this, a medium's fine. If you're tying it smaller, I'd probably recommend going to a smaller chenille. But just touch and turns, one right in front of the other. Don't worry about stacking anything. Take it right up behind the eye, or behind the dumbbell eyes. Okay, I think we're fine right there. Let's see if we can get in here and cut this chenille off without making too much of a mess. There we go. All right, let's do a couple extra wraps just to make sure that's locked in there. Throw another one over it and behind it. So our eyes are in fine shape right there. Okay, next point, uh, a part of this fly is I'm using Lady Amherst pheasant feathers. You can certainly use golden pheasant uh, tippets, 
but I think this Lady Amherst gives it a pretty cool color, certainly with this purple. And what I've done, I've just taken two feathers off and I'm gonna put them back to back. Um, there's no right and left, I mean, you just got a head. So take two feathers that are roughly the same size and if they have bars on them, try to get the bars about the same size. Uh, this one's not perfect. You can see that back one is just a little bit uh, shorter than the, the front one, but eh, we're gonna be fine. So let's go ahead and measure length. We want it to be, you know, the whole length of the fly out there to the, the bend of the hook. And this first wrap, it's gonna flare it up and it's gonna point straight up and that's not really what we want. I mean, sure, you could leave that if you want, but what I'd like to do, just pull it down and then take a few medium wraps right here, just try to get that wing laying a little bit flatter. Okay, now I've got several wraps locking that in. Let's just get in here and try to trim these as close as we can. Okay, that'll work. Put a few extra wraps right there and just take it right back up to the eye. And we'll put a few wraps up here. It doesn't need to be many, just enough that our whip finish will have something to grab a hold of and then something that our head cement will be able to sink into. So four or five turns right here. And snip that off. Now take a look at it. Are your Feathers still coming up pretty perpendicular? Yeah, I think so. This is going to have a fine profile through the water. And with these weighted dumbbell eyes, this thing, I can only envision it's going to have a, a seesaw motion as you strip it through the water. So that's going to be a pretty attractive looking retrieve. So there you go, the Tippet Whisker. It's a pretty cool looking fly, really easy to tie, and you can make it in any color combination you want. So I appreciate you watching, everybody. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.